Hi, this is Karen Gomio, and today I'll be answering some questions about bows. I've had my main playing bow recambered a couple of times. Wood, which obviously is, is natural, can start to warp over time, and it's, you know, it's usually not something you notice overnight. So um, that was the case for me. One day I suddenly felt that something was physically uncomfortable, which was not the case before, and so I've had it worked on. Getting a good rehair job on your bow is really important. It actually makes a huge difference on playability, on sound, on, on everything. I overlooked that for a long time. I didn't realize how much of an impact a good rehair job uh, had and probably was lucky to just, you know, having grown up in New York, just have had good people rehairing my bow. I, at some point, got very curious about what goes into doing a really excellent job. And so I asked my friend Isaac Salko whether he would give me a couple of lessons on rehairing a bow. <laughs> um, and I guess during that process, what, what became obvious to me is just what my preferences are, which is that um, the tension of the hair should be absolutely even. The hair should overall feel very taut. Um, and that for me then gives a sense of uh, electricity that runs through the bow. And to help that, a little bit less hair than what would be considered standard is my preference, as well as a little bit of extra hair on the playing side of the stick. So um, that gives a little more support. And also when you start breaking hair, it's often gonna be from the playing side. Um, it just makes the rehair last a little bit longer as well. When you are looking to upgrade your bow, I would say three things. The first thing is you should be able to articulate exactly what's not working for you right now and exactly what it is you're, you're hoping for. The reason I say this is because the process of searching for a bow can be really overwhelming. There are many bows out there in every price category. So the more you are clear about what it is you want, the more you'll be able to find that bow hopefully. I could of course talk about a bunch of violinists and what I've learned from them, why they inspire me, but I wanted to talk for a second about singers because I grew up listening to a lot of opera and I feel that as a string player, we can learn a lot from them, from, from singers, about the natural ways of the voice, the natural ways of the breath, um, whether it's about where and how to take a breath between phrases, um, or just timing in general uh, within a phrase um, or about the relationship and distance between two notes. In fact, I, I kind of see a correlation between the breath and the bow. So I'm pretty conscious of what my breath is doing, particularly in the beginnings of a phrase, also the ends of a phrase, and also sometimes in, in bow changes too. I'm very much aware of how I'm connecting my breath. 